Okay. Just a quick note about the uh, the other lens, the the f1.7 20 millimeter lens. Great lens, it really is. It's a nice lens. It's a bright lens, but it's not really good for making videos, which is unfortunate. Great photos, bad for video. Why? Um, one, it doesn't have a hypersonic motor, which means that um, every time it was focusing, you could pick up the noise in the microphone. You may not have heard it because I worked really hard to try and get it covered up as much as possible. Um, two, it had a hard time focusing, possibly because it's just an older lens and not really made for video. Don't know. Um, and three, it was just a little, little too close for my liking. If I had a better, a better uh, tripod type thingy that held the camera out a little further, it would be great. But no, no, it is not. So that's where we're at. And now let's get on with our. Okay, we're going to try this. It's very loud and very crowded, and it's fair. So what do you expect here, look? Look behind me. Back here. Does this look like something that somebody who's an anxiety disorder should be doing? <laughs> no. This is the line for the stand that I'm supposed to be working at, but kind of skipped out on them for a minute. I don't know how much of this you'll be able to hear. I will try to speak as loudly as I can. Let's go look at the foods. There's health food galore here. Look, you've got Polish and Italian sausage. Um, elephant ears, corn dog, oh my god, it's just garbage as far as the eye can see. Look. There's nothing healthy here at all. Nothing. This is the only exercise I'm getting today. I'm walking through this once prove that I can do it. I already took my phone up and by the way. <laughs> uh, fried green tomatoes, yeah. There you go. And what else? Sirloin tip dinners. Uh, no. I'm thinking no. I'm sure it's delicious, but no. And for those of you with a desk wish, we're coming upon the rides. The rides, the rides. Fair rides. Rides that are taken down and put together as quickly as possible. Uh, yeah. Good stuff, I'm sure. Safety is number one. <laughs> Here we go. Ferris wheel. I don't see the drop ride. Normally they have one of those god-awful rides that drops you. I need to get a shield up here <laughs> to block the sound so that it's just me you're hearing. But not in the cart. Might be able to make something because there's a hot shoe right behind it. No external mic input on this camera. What a great plan that was. Normal. Crap. Just lots and lots of crap. Oh my god. You feel every every muscle in my body is tensed up beyond belief right now. Soon I'll be getting into the area where the copyrighted music yeah. is. No, it's not. That will create a whole new issue. When I hit that, I'll probably stop talking and just... That way I can cover over it later. Some of my... Some of my jams. Shoot till you win. Win what? Nothing. I'm getting lots of strange looks. Go figure. Uh-huh. I have no idea 
what the hell that is. There's the Gravitron, which is basically a giant, dark, sweaty disc that spins you around until you want to vomit. No air conditioning in it. Okay. Now we're getting into copyright territory. And then we got people who just spout out swear words for no reason whatsoever. That's lovely. Burger. What trash America? What trash America? I heard a song called White Trash America. Oddly enough, none of my friends liked it. Possibly because, well, you know. Uh, Murray's General Store. Looks like a fun house to me. Okay, this thing is killing my arm. Switching arms. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I need somebody running up. I don't know. Now I'm backlit. So there's that. Good God. Kill me now. Kill me now. find an empty spot and go for it. Alright, <laughs> up till here. And then we have a bunch of crap actually. Here's a slide. Oh boy, can't get that at the park. No, oh, come on! <laughs> jump, 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 jump. Are we far enough away from it yet? Can you still hear it? Sons of but Some of the food stands are a little less than uh, uh, what's the word? Trustworthy would be the closest I can think of right off the top of my head. There's definitely things that I would not want to put in my face. Oh, you did just need a giant fried mushroom and a piece of fried green pepper that one of my church friends gave me. Whew. Switching arms. Oh my goodness. How does Casey do this crap, man? These big lenses are heavy. Heavy. Look, it's Peyton Manning. <laughs> Who knew he'd come to the Johnson County Fair? I guess. Fame has not gone to his head. He still goes to the county fair. <laughs> In cold country, wearing his Broncos shirt. Anyway, yes, there are, there are a lot of Indiana fans of Pete Manning who just, while not Denver Bronco fans necessarily, are fans of him. I don't know how much of this I'm going to have to overdub so you can actually hear it. Hopefully, I'll be able to hear it and then I can just redo it all. If it's too bad. Oh, uh, look at all the garbage. Ice cream, popcorn. The popcorn's okay. This is like a diabetic's nightmare though. I'm just telling you right now. Yeah. 
have diabetes do not eat county fair food. No sock. And another booth. They have people waving at the back of the camera for some reason. I don't know why. I don't think they know how a camera works. Link is right here. Unfortunately, I do have to keep looking over because I'm moving so much. Glitter tattoos. Oh boy, they have fidget spinner toys. Woohoo! I always wanted a fidget spinner toy. Oh no, wait, I've got some already. Never mind, Ms. Niches. Uh, I knew that would be a, a thing. These guys. Indy Grimo. Grimo? Grimo? How's that pronounced? Grimo? 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 Grimo. So we're Indy's original party hearse limousines. We are a uh, limousine service. Just with a little bit of a twist. So we do reservations for any occasion. You name it, we'll do it. We do some escape room packages. We do haunted house packages. Our expedition here seats seven passengers. We have a 92 Cadillac which seats six also. And we have a uh, 14 passenger party bus. So if you ever need a designated driver, a chauffeur, we can definitely do that for you. Um, um, it's good fun. Definitely what, what a way to show up. What an awesome way to go. Look at that. What, what do you think? I love this. I want to I wanna ride in it really bad. We can make it happen, man. We're only a phone call away, so there's many avenues there. If you can get a hold of us, so our website's there. Our, uh, Social media platform, all that good stuff's there. Phone call, text message. So, all right, brother. All right, thank you. Stop by. Thank you. Enjoy the fair. And that will be my one plug for the day. That that is a really, really beautiful, beautiful hearse slash limousine. I don't think you could ask for a cooler ride than that. Oh, here's the guy who. He says, give the monkey 25 cents for good luck. Yeah, his good luck. He's, he's the one who gets the good luck because he gets the quarter. Like a boss. Good lord. We're almost through. We're almost through. A little 11 minutes. It'll be 12 before I get back to the booth, but not bad. 12 minute run. I've shown you the entire fair, sort of. And I'm not going through there again. Never, ever, 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 ever. That was fucking horrible. Pardon my Francais, you. <laughs> guy was really interested in plugging his limousine service once he realized I had a camera and was making a video. <laughs> Go figure. More copyrighted friggin' music. There we go. We're past it now. And we're back to the Gateway Lemonade Stand. Whoop. And we're done. Okay. That's all you're getting from me for today. That was one long freaking day. Um, it may not seem like it to you. I was there for four hours, so I only filmed, what, 12 minutes of it, but I was there for four hours. Horrible, 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 horrible four hours. Most of the time I spent uh, hiding away from people. But there you go. Fair. Probably the only time I'm going to spend at it. Uh, now I'm going to go up and look at the footage and see if you can actually hear anything. If not, I might have to overdub it. So if it sounds really crisp and clear with no outside sounds, then you know I had to dub it. But it's time to go. So bye-bye.